hey guys welcome back to my channel I am here with a nighttime routine today which was so requested after my morning routine and I had just hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube and came back from celebrating with some friends so I thought it was the perfect time to start on it here I'm just taking my shoes off before we head upstairs because you can never do that as you can see I'm in my basic uniform of jeans tee and heels that is what I wear all the time and I just head upstairs to my bedroom And then we change because the first thing I do when I get home is get out of jeans and put on sweatpants. I never wear real clothes in the house, ever, ever, ever. And then I head downstairs to make some dinner. Today I am having tacos, so I am just browning the ground beef. This is ground beef. And then I cut up some veggies, whichever veggies you want, but I usually do bell peppers and onions. I know this is not a cooking video or a recipe video, but I wanted to show you guys how I make something. The taco seasoning I use is just the one you can buy at the store from Old El Paso, but I get the reduced sodium one, so it's just a little bit healthier. So once you've chopped up your veggies, I just add them to my ground beef that I have already browned and it's mostly cooked. Mix it all together, throw on the taco seasoning, and then let everything simmer for a little bit. And this is what you're ending up with. You can have this in a regular tortilla, but I usually just have the meat, throw some cheese on it, and have a side of salad. After dinner, I am heading upstairs to the bathroom, and it is time to take my makeup off. Genuinely, this is probably one of the favorite parts of my day, because after wearing makeup for so long, just to take off your lashes and take off your makeup and wash your face is the best thing ever. It's like the best feeling. I always put my lashes in the lash box because I do use mink eyelashes and then let's start taking our makeup off. I love the Bobbi Brown Instant Longwear Makeup Remover. This is one of those oily ones but it takes everything off. I was wearing a liquid lipstick this day and as you can see it removes everything really nicely and this takes off lash glue and all dark makeup and all the Anastasia Dip Brow in like 2 seconds but you don't want to use it on your face because you may break out. For my face, I just use the Bioderma H2O, just the one in the red bottle. This it has no oil in it, it's paraben free, it is a much gentler um, formula I guess for your skin. And after I have rubbed off all my makeup, I then do my teeth. I just use Colgate toothpaste and I have an electronic toothbrush which I think is the best way ever. Now back to the face, I use the Spectral Cleanser for blemish prone skin, I get this huge size at Costco. I really really like this, I switched over from Cetaphil, I find it is really gentle and it keeps my skin very clear and also removes any extra makeup that I may have not got with the Bioderma. Now every Sunday I always like to do an exfoliating face mask and the one that I use is the Peter Thomas Ross Pumpkin Enzyme Mask. This is my favorite for a heavy duty exfoliation. It's really great. Um, I just basically smooth it onto my skin, rub it in and leave it on for 7 minutes before I wash it off with a wet washcloth and seriously it is life changing. My skin is so smooth and resurfaced after. I wanted to show you guys what I do on a Sunday night because I do take more steps to pamper myself. I don't do this every single night but it's kind of fun to treat yourself to start the week off with a fresh face. And then I always, every single day, go in with my fresh Seabury Moisturizing Face Oil because I have dry skin and I need to add some moisture back to my skin and this just makes my skin supple and glowing. Another thing that I have been asked about lately is my teeth whitening routine and for the past month or so I have been using this kit from White with Style. This is my favorite. I do it once a week because I like to do it on a Sunday to start off my week and it comes with everything that you guys need. I have already pre-molded the trays to my teeth since I've used this a bunch of times already but I basically put the gel in the trays. This one is my absolute favorite out of any whitening kits that I've tried. I know it really works because I see the results myself, but also the gel actually does burn your gums if you get it on there, so make sure you don't use too much of the gel. I love the um, little light that it comes with. I don't know, I feel like I'm from Star Wars or something. But yeah, like I said, I know this one works because it does actually burn your gums, so I know there's an active ingredient in it. So I just slot those in. If any does get on my gums, I use the vitamin E swabs to take it off. But check out the description bar below if you guys want to try this out. I have a code and everything, and it's only $28, and it actually does a really great job. I just love white teeth for the summer, well all year round, but in the summer with a tan it looks amazing. 
So after 30 minutes, I come back and then I just wipe my teeth clean to make sure there is no residue from the gel on them. And then you're pretty much set with some whiter teeth. And then I like to go downstairs and hang out with my sister and my family. I am a really big family oriented person. I know a lot of you guys know that I live at home, but I do actually love to spend time with my family. So here we are just talking while I drink my flat tummy tea and watching a little bit of Netflix. We were actually watching Clueless, which is one of my all time favorites. Then it was getting pretty late, she had to go to bed, so I just switched the TV off and I went to go and paint my nails, which is another step that I do every Sunday. I use the OPI Nail Envy to keep my nails really long and strong, and then the color that I was using is by Essie called Minimalistic, it's my favorite. I cannot stand chip nails, so I always paint them whenever they chip, and every Sunday I do a fresh manicure for myself, and I usually just watch a TV show on my laptop while I'm doing it. After they've dried, I head upstairs and go chill on my bed just for a little bit of me time. I finish watching that show that I was watching, reply to some emails, reply to comments, just surf the net, you know, everything that you should not do before bed because it keeps you awake. And then when I've decided that I've had enough of that, I throw my pillows up into the closet because it is time to get some rest, girl. I need to get some sleep before this Monday morning gets started. And so I get into bed. I always set my alarm on my phone. I actually set it for 8 a.m., but my body usually wakes me up at around 7.15, so that is just my last call. I switch everything off at night because I do not want to be bothered and then I will shut the light off and get some rest. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this as it was so requested. Let me know what you think and I will catch you in the next video. Bye!